Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to show you some project updates of uh, another project that we are going to flip. This is a commercial mixed-use project. I'm going to show you around the flat that is currently getting stripped out. There is a lot of rubbish, so all the handyman is currently stripping out the wallpaper and getting rid of all the furniture that has been left behind by the previous owner. Apparently there are like four layers of wallpaper on these walls and it's taking them very long time to strip the wallpapers. Excuse the rubbish because obviously we are in rip out stage so there will be a lot of rubbish piled up everywhere. Most of the rubbish are actually furniture and clothing and uh, bits and bobs left behind by the previous owner and unfortunately we have to throw them away. So on this day of doing the project inspection and checking on the progress, we have arranged to meet two commercial agents as we are going to rent out the ground floor shop. So getting the commercial agents in at this stage, it helps speed up the process because they are able to come in to look at the size of the shop and also once we tell them the condition and show them pictures that we are going to finish the shop as, they are able to give us a rental appraisal and tell us how much we can potentially rent out the shop for. This is part of the process of building up the relationship with the commercial agent as well. So here's me rushing down the steps to meet the commercial agent who has shown up. Hello, so standing in the shop uh, right now, it is currently in this situation. Marcus is opening some uh, letters that has been dropped in. <laughs> there are tons of them. And so today our mission is to meet two commercial agents and they are going to sort of do like a appraisal for this shop and um, tell us what they think we can rent out the shop for. So we just finished off the first meeting with a commercial agent and she has suggested to us uh, she can rent this out at 150 uh, per week, which comes up to 650 a month. And uh, yeah, that is that, that sounds really good to us. We told her we are going to do everything to blind canvas, so whitewashed walls and you know fix the damp at the back and also the bathroom, if you remember from the other video, uh, we're going to yeah put in a new you know ba um, toilet sort of situation and a little pantry. And she says uh, this road is very, very popular. This is a very commercial street. so, yeah, she, uh, she said there are a lot of people looking for premises to run a wine bar and uh, hairdressers is also very popular around here, dog groomers um, and we've showed her that there is a little sort of patio, patio at the back and like a little cafe or like pop-up brewery sort of cafe can also um, have some seating outside so yeah uh, they generally have a large database of uh, tenants of shop owners looking for premises and we should approach them uh, two weeks before we are complete with the renovation and then they can uh, they can fill they can find a tenant and fill it within two to four weeks um, and yeah at the situation right now she doesn't recommend putting it on the market yet because if uh, they were to have any interested uh, people, uh, they would start asking uh, to do, for us to put in stuff like, oh, can you put in sockets here? Can you do this? Can you do that? Without um, having the commitment from them to take it in at the end. So she doesn't recommend us marketing it right now. So that is the summary. We are also meeting our builders here to finalize some design and layout electric plans just to make sure that we are communicating and we are on one page. The floorboards to this room is a bit wonky so they will need to rebuild it. As you can see the strip out stage, the door frames have been stripped out, we are putting in new doors and new door frames. So here's us telling our builder which walls will stay and which walls should be taken off as we are moving the position of the bathroom and also we are adding a second bathroom to this property. So here's us talking about where the TV sockets would go and where the bedside lamps sockets would go. So this is the store which would be turned into two bathrooms with a bit of extended space. Wallpaper in this hallway has been stripped out. <laughs> There's a lot of rubbish now. That's the new roof. We are getting it retiled, as you can see. 
The roof on the Outrigger seems quite bad and we would need to replace the roof tiles as well. If you remember in the previous video, I'll link it up here. This room is filled with a lot of furniture with a big wardrobe in the middle. Now it has been taken away by our builders. So previously, when we were buying the property, we had a structural engineer out to check on the structural integrity of this property. And he has pointed out that the front wall is a bit distorted and we might need to expose some walls to see if there is a steel beam at the bottom of it to support the structure. So our builders have now exposed the beam and apparently there is a steel beam there supporting the whole front wall and it looks like it has been done properly. So there is no structural issues that is of concern to this property so we don't have to rebuild the front wall. It's simply that a few bricks are a bit uh, leaning down but the facade of all the terrace houses on this street has the same look. Roofers are in! I'm now standing at the back of the property and there is just a lot of trash, a lot of rubbish because these all came out from the backyard. There are, there are some loose tiles on the back of the property. And you can see we have the scaffold at the back of the property to replace the roof tiles as well. So here is us standing at the back of the property because we are going through some root cause of moisture penetrating through the walls with our builder and he has pointed out that there is this green pipe that is connected to the black uh, pipe. The green pipe is old soil pipe and that hasn't been fixed and there are some vegetation growth at the joints up there. So we are going to fix that problem and hopefully it will fix the problem of the damp penetration to into the kitchen wall. So there you go guys, there are so many issues with this property that we are going to fix throughout the whole renovation. And make sure you subscribe to our channels and hit the bell so you get notified when we post the next progress update on this project. See you on the next one. Bye bye!